Hi everybody, this is Harry, UX researcher at Usebury. Today, I'm going to share with you Usebury's tree testing updates. These updates give you more control over your tree testing studies by introducing new setup options for ASIO queues and new results views that enable you to make in-depth analysis of your products. Let's see Usebury's tree testing setup improvements. The first thing that you'll notice is the shortcut tips. The shortcut tips show you the keyboard shortcuts that you can use to create a tree via the Usebury tree creator. With this update, you can also upload a tree structure as a CSV. Just click the upload CSV file, download our own example structure, Open it, fill it up with your own tree structure, save it as CSV, and then drag and drop it into Usebury and upload it. With Usebury, you can now quickly collapse and expand all the tree nodes, and you can also delete the whole tree structure hassle free by just clicking the delete button. These updates also bring a, a massive update. You can now define one or more correct answers for the tree test task. Just mark the checkbox right next to the node that you want to set as a correct answer. Moving on to the tree test options, the show pages without root option enables you to show or note the tree root node to the participants. If you enable this option, the participants will not see the root element of your tree when they are taking the test. While if you disable this option, the participants will see the root element of your tree while they are taking the test. Let's check Usebury's tree testing improved results. Our updated tree test results make it easier to draw meaningful conclusions and present findings to stakeholders. With task completion, you can now quickly see how many participants succeeded and how many did not succeed in selecting the correct answer. The succeeded stat shows the percentage of participants who clicked the correct answer for the tree test task. With direct, you can see the participants who navigated directly to the correct answer. Indirect displays the participants who realized they were on the wrong path and later found their way to the correct icon. In other words, the participants who took a different path before selecting the correct answer. Not succeeded is a stat that shows percentage of participants who clicked a wrong answer for the three test task users that skip the task and users that drop off during this task. With fail, you can see the percentage of participants who selected an incorrect item as their final answer. Direct indicates the participants who navigated down an incorrect item directly, while indirect shows the participants who, after going back up the tree and correcting their selection, uh, still ended up selecting the wrong item. Skip indicates participants who did not choose a destination but, but clicked the skip button instead. Direct indicates participants who clicked the skip button without attempting to click through the tree, while indirect shows participants who started to click through the tree before clicking the skip button. Drop-off shows the percentage of participants who did not choose any destination but dropped off the test. Direct shows participants who dropped off by exiting the test without attempting to click through the tree, while indirect shows participants who started to click through the tree before dropping off the test. Let's continue with the new views that Usebury implements with this update. The first click is an important indicator of whether a user can complete the task successfully or not. With the first click, you can see which branches were clicked first and how many participants did so. In addition, 
This view shows the number of participants that visited a branch at any point during the test. You can enable the percentage switcher to see percentages instead of number of participants. With the paths view, you can explore the paths participants took while taking this three test task and better understand where they followed the correct or wrong path, where they skipped the three test and where they dropped off the test. The paths column shows the paths participants followed. Based on the path users took, the completion column shows if participants directly or indirectly succeeded, failed, skipped or dropped off this three test task. The participants column shows how many participants follow this path. You can enable the percentage switcher to show percentages instead of number of participants. Lastly, the destinations tab. The destinations tab indicates a breakdown of the nodes participants selected as the correct answer for this three test task. The tree structure is presented and the destination column shows how many participants selected a specific node as their correct answer for the given three test task. A blue cell indicates the correct answers you had set while creating the tree. You can enable the percentage switcher to see percentages instead of number of participants. Let us know what you think about our new tree testing updates and drop us a line if you have any questions. We'll be happy to chat with you. Thank you very much.